this is how the work progresses. This is the English version when it is translated. Here we have the same, th this is the published copy, electronic copy. And this is, has been published quite a, some time back. We compare this to the recent copy of Dar al Ma'rifa because it is also the one adopted by the Turkish translation. So we have the same th thing. If there is any difference, we always compare this to that. And this is where uh, Anovi's explanation or commentary is. In case there is a difficulty, I have this recent and contemporary commentary on Sahih Muslim by a contemporary scholar who passed away about 11 years ago. And the important thing about this copy and the help it gives us, because it has link explanation of words. Here is the difficult words are uh, yeah, explained very fully. Imam al nawawi explains these, most of these, but some of them were very current in his uh, time, so he didn't need to explain them. While language has changed, so there is a difference here, an addition. So in case there is a difficulty in understanding the, the uh, text of the Hadith, I have this resource to add to al Nawawi's translation, uh, commentary and its translation. It helps and that is a great uh, resources. In case of all this being fading me, I still have this dictionary of Arabic. This is called the Arabic tongue. It is in, 19, in 18 volumes and it is called here, as we say, the Arabic tongue. And this is a very extensive dictionary. And the amazing thing is that the author of the dictionary was a contemporary of Imam al-Nawawi.